Before the throne of God above, I have a strong... Growing up, my mom was the person that everyone loved. She walked into a room and never met a stranger. She would sing her freshly written songs to complete and total strangers and walk away with several new best friends. She loved helping people find the joy in Jesus. For me, as a severely shy and reserved g girl, this was a terrifying and emotionally embarrassing thing. I hated any attention on myself and felt like each time there was a spotlight on me. Did they expect me to be the same way? Were they going to laugh at me or make fun of me? Into my teenage years, my mom's disease began only to appear, but we were not aware that this was what she was going through until recently. The stage of the disease made her severely depressed, angry, bitter, emotional, and verbally abusive to all of us in the family. This side, combined with her normal personality, when she had her good days, made us even resent our mom. We could not stand to be in the same room with her. It was extremely devastating to watch other kids with their somewhat normal family lives, and then to see the dramatic differences of what it was like in our own. We wanted so desperately to have a mom to laugh with, to bake cookies with us, or to teach us how to cook or clean. Instead, we had an angry, bitter mom who was resentful, who was very good at putting on a happy face on Sunday, and the world never knew it the otherwise. There were many years of heartache and pain. Continuing into my young adult life, mom's progression continued. She would eventually lose her mobility, constantly falling and fainting. She couldn't walk, and she constantly had a twitch in her leg. Then came the paranoia and psychosis. We figured that something was truly wrong and she needed help. We admitted her into a psychiatric ward at a local hospital, and there they diagnosed her with schizophrenia. However, that same year, our mom's sister, our aunt, was diagnosed with Huntington's disease. Having never seen the progression of the disease in our aunt, we were completely confused. Our mom, on the other hand, experienced textbook progression of the disease. We began searching and looking deeper to find that we were right. The doctors eventually labeled both my mom and aunt having the same genetic disease. Huntington's disease starts slow, and in most cases it does not arise until the person is in their mid-30s or 40s. When it does appear, it progresses fast, and sadly, there's no cure. There's only medicine to mask the symptoms. However, when a person is as far as my mom was in the progression, there's likely not anything that they can do besides give subtle medication and guidance for care. The last three years have been extremely rough on our family, but at the same time, all the more beautiful. The disease did take most of our mom's physical attributes but it was the beginning of a forever change in all of us. We used to look at mom with anger, pain, hurt, resentment, and bitterness, but now we see a woman who was trying so desperately to fight, to overcome the many obstacles that her life was throwing at her. We see a woman who was trying to fight the disease that was taking over every aspect of her mind. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. 